Hi, my name is Nicole Barden. I'm an environmental educator at Pepperwood, located in Santa Rosa, California. We are a nonprofit whose mission is to inspire conservation through science. Our 3,200 acre nature preserve is home to over 900 species of wild animals and plants. On today's episode of Wild Wonders, we are going to talk about a few of the common and interesting winter birds, especially ones you might see pecking around on the ground in your yard, local park, or while you're out on a hike. Sunny winter days are a great time to go outside and look for birds. Some birds can be found hopping around on the ground looking for seeds and fallen fruits. These birds like open patches of ground near trees and bushes where they can quickly hide. Feeders are also a great way to enjoy the birds in your yard, but be sure to clean them regularly to not spread any disease. You might notice that some of the recordings in this video have round edges and strange light spots. That's because I recorded them through my spotting scope. If you have a smartphone and a spotting scope or pair of binoculars, you can try this trick too. One of the most common birds you will see is the dark-eyed junco. Juncos are small birds that can have slightly different colorations depending on where you are. Here in Sonoma County, most of the juncos we see have brown backs and sides with white bellies, but the part that stands out the most is their heads. Males have black heads, while females' heads are a lighter gray. The other thing to look for is the white on the outside of their tails. This can be seen when they flash their tails as they hop around on the ground or fly down the trail in front of you. Juncos are seen year-round in Sonoma County, but are easier to see in the winter when they gather in flocks. They are common visitors at feeders and especially love eating seeds that have fallen to the ground. Another common bird you may see under a feeder is the California towhee. California towhees are bigger than juncos. They're brown all over with a hint of orange on their chins and under their long tails. Their harsh chip call is very distinctive and a good one to learn. They tend to hang out in pairs and sometimes join groups of juncos or other ground birds to look for food. Fox sparrows are much less common and way sneakier than juncos and towhees. I feel lucky to have found this one in spending time out in the open. I usually find one or two of them under a bush, kicking leaves with both feet to find hidden snacks. Fox sparrows can come in slightly different colors from chocolate brown to gray and even red. I notice that this one is brown like a California towhee, but it has spots on its lighter chest and its body is more round. Hermit thrushes look similar to fox sparrows, but here are a few differences to help you tell them apart. Just like the fox sparrow, they have brown bodies, but their spots fade into their gray bellies, while the fox sparrow's spots continue down. I also notice that hermit thrushes' tails are red, and they constantly flick, flick their wings, which is something you can notice from pretty far away. Hermit thrushes especially love to eat berries, so I often see them near berry bushes. Also, their loud chup, chup call is one you can learn with a bit of practice, and some people say it reminds them of dripping water. One of the most beautiful winter ground birds is the varied thrush. They are similar in size and shape to an American robin, but usually much more skittish. They love eating acorns and bay laurel fruits and make a long single note whistle that can be heard from far away. This varied thrush is missing part of its tail, likely due to a predator trying to catch it, most likely a cat. I'm glad it was able to get away. Now that we have learned about some winter birds, do you think you can identify them? Here's a pop quiz. What's this bird? How can you tell? Do you remember this one's name? How about this one? Okay, here's another one. Last but not least,
It's okay if you can't remember each of these birds. Practice noticing and wondering, and you will soon recognize these birds like seeing an old friend. Thanks for joining me on this birding adventure. I hope next time you're exploring outside in the winter, you keep an eye out for these and other winter birds. See you on the trail.